Good morning. It's a Tuesday, June 26th. Our top story this morning is Mirabaini's purchase of uh, Wellmar Europe, a uh, Netherlands-based uh, seafood distributor uh, that uh, has relationships in Netherlands, France, the UK, and increasingly Germany. Um, Wellmar is primarily a distributor of Alaskan products. Uh, they distribute uh, uh, salmon, uh, wild salmon, they distribute uh, pollock, pollock blocks, uh, various uh, other uh, ground fish type species, Alaska flatfish. And Mirabaini uh, hopes to use them to spring into the European market. Uh, like the other major Japanese uh, seafood trading companies, uh, Nippon Suisan and Marua Nichiro, uh, Mirabaini sees the need to expand outside of Japan. What I find interesting is the way that there seems to be a trend towards more uh, vertical integration among these different companies. Uh, Marabini also bought the North Pacific uh, salmon processing uh, plant up in Bristol Bay uh, in December of last year. So now they're going to be able to have a more direct uh, route for some of this uh, canned salmon uh, into Europe. Um, the other thing that's important here is that there's an Asian leg of all of these operations. Uh, Wellmar also has a subsidiary or a branch in Seattle uh, who uh, is primarily involved in taking Alaskan products and sending them to Asia or uh, China uh, for further processing and then uh, redistributing them back in Europe. Uh, Marabini will now uh, get this kind of uh, boost to its uh, uh, trading program. And Marabini is also very interested in focusing on China. Uh, they see the Chinese uh, seafood market growing to three or four times the size of the Japanese seafood market um, for internationally traded commodities uh, over the next few years. They have a very aggressive schedule for their acquisition uh, of Wellmar, uh, which is to essentially double uh, their seafood sales in the course of a, of a three-year period uh, by 2015. Uh, Marabini is also investing in Chile as are the other Japanese companies. And you can see the development of these kind of global uh, seafood uh, sourcing and transmission companies uh, who are tying in both uh, the original source of the production and the marketing arms uh, to sell this production. And of course, I think that this trend is going to have um, a, a longer term impact on the market. More and more, these uh, vertically integrated type companies both uh, pre-sell their products and they have captive customer bases uh, and oftentimes they can afford to outcompete uh, companies uh, for uh, uh, resource and raw material uh, where those companies don't have the same uh, sort of established customer base. Anyway, uh, this is just one more step in this road uh, towards uh, a really highly uh, competitive and integrated uh, global uh, seafood procurement and selling network. In, in Nantucket, Mass., this is John Sackton.